What's up, everyone? It is Monday, June 25th, and we are live at 5 at Broadway.com. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And hey, look over there is Caitlin Moynihan, Hello. content producer Caitlin. And a super mega talent in the house today. Lena Hall is Lena here. Lena Hall's here. Tony winner, Lena Hall. We've been obsessed with her obsessed Oh, Ooh. good for you. EPs, Very good. Which are coming out every month. It's a, an amazing project. We talked with, with her about it before, but now she's like midway through it, so I can't wait to hear like how she's doing. And she's doing a concert this week, so we're going to talk about that too. But first, today's top five. We got some more casting news about yet another movie turned musical. Okay, this is a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. This is the the casting for Tootsie. Which we're, we're excited the about. Musical. Tootsie. Now we yeah. already know that Santina Fontana is playing the title role, but Lily Cooper will be playing Julie Nichols. That's the role that won Jessica Lange an Oscar right. in the movie version. Right. And of course, she's our former vlogger, getting cheeky. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah Styles, I just have to throw in for the vloggers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sarah Styles is playing Sandy Lester, the super neurotic uh, actress Gar. played by Terry Gar in yep. the movie. Uh, it's really exciting, really exciting. This you guys rent the movie, by the way. I know some of you it's young like top youngins have seen three best Tootsie. movie of all time. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, of course, this has a book by Robert Horn. Score by Tony winner David Yazbek. Yes. Finally, a Tony Scott winner. Ellis Finally, is what took you so long, Yazbek? <laughs> I feel like he's going to write to you right now. Um, <laughs> Scott Ellis is directing. Dennis Jones is choreographing it. Now, I should just say, for the record, the only one that is announced for Broadway is Santino. Right. But Well, they're doing it in Chicago. They're doing it in Chicago. When is that? Beth? Yeah. At the Cadillac Palace Theater from September 11th through October 14th. Uh-huh. And scheduled to come br to Broadway in spring 2019. You know, I've heard a rumor. Oh, I heard a on. rumor. You know, the original Tootsie, the movie, yes. is set on a soap opera. Correct. It's all about a soap opera, and it's all about yes. you know, Pulling the, back a, the an cameras. out of work actor can't get work, so he dresses in drag and gets cast in a soap opera. In case you never saw it, yes. Well, yes. right, but that'd be, that's the premise. But but What's apparently the, the musical is set at a Broadway musical. <gasps> it's a rumor. Oh. I don't know. What's the next item? Wow. Oh my gosh! And we already found out that someone's been replaced in a show that hasn't even started yet. Yeah, so Tom Skerritt uh, is in Straight White Men because he has one. Um, he was playing the father, and he had to yes. leave the production for personal reasons. So Dennis Arndt, who was in that fantastic, what was that play called? Heisenberg. Heisenberg with Heisenberg. Mary Louise Parker. Heisenberg, Mary Louise Parker. And I believe he pronounces it Denny Arndt. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. But Dennis Jones, Denny Arndt, spelled oh, the same way. Oh, it's so confusing. Life Denny uh, was a Tony nominee for Heisenberg, um, and... He will now be playing the father of Army Hammer, Josh Charles, Josh Charles, and Paul Schneider. And uh, the show also stars Kate Bornstein and Ty Defoe. Yeah. yeah. Beth interviewed the cast last week. I did. Uh, previews will still start June 29th, and opening is still Ju July 23rd. And of course, it's uh, Young Young Jean Lee. Young Jean Lee's Broadway debut. Play. Anna D. Shapiro is directing. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's gonna be great. And some of Broadway's biggest stars are coming together for a cause. You know, don't you love this we community? We always come together for causes. We, we always come together, together all the time. You know what Broadway this is does? called Concert for America, and this benefits families who are currently struggling at the border. Yep. Concert for America has been an ongoing yes, it project. Yes, it has dealt with other Seth issues. Rudetsky. Seth Rudetsky and his husband, James yeah. Wesley. Yes. Listen to these big names, though. Are you ready? Yeah. Adina Menzel. Well, because it's about the border. It's about the Texas, yes. Yes. So it's a hot That's one of the borders. Audra McDonald, Tina Fey, Jeremy Jordan, Andrew Rannells, Cheetah Rivera. Big names. Uh, so this will benefit four nonprofit organizations working along the southern border to protect civil and human rights of families. It's held at Cooper Union on June 30th at 5 o'clock and will be broadcast on Facebook Live right here. Mm -hmm. uh, at f uh, well, at not our Facebook Not our Live, Facebook Live, but, but you're on right Facebook. Not here, but here. Facebook, which yeah, you are Facebook. now on. Uh, at 5 o'clock on June 30th, so check it out. Awesome. And we just found out someone else who just can't wait to be king. Look at her go. Yeah. Look at her go. So uh, congratulations, Bradley Gibson. You are the new Simba, if Ooh. you didn't know. We're telling you now. <laughs> uh, Bradley Surprise. was most recently in the ensemble of A Bronx Tale. Yep. I don't know if he's still in it or if he, or if he left, but um, he's replacing Jelani Remy, blogger, as Beth Former would like to Former blogger, point out. pride so, of Broadway. Uh, he starts July 2nd. <laughs> Um, he was Tyrone in the Bronx Tale. He was actually in an, our, we did, you know, the Gotta Dance photos. Matt Murphy yeah. took some amazing photos, and he was in that. It was like the one that was like a gap ad. I love those photos. <laughs> the They're gap amazing. Ad. Uh, and he was also in Rocky on Broadway and Chicago National Tours. This is a big opportunity for him. So, uh, congratulations, Bradley. And an original cast member is finding out that she's part of the human heart on Once in This Island. 
Wow, you really worked on You're that. Really I did. Work today, on that one. I did. Congratulations really <laughs> to Darlisha Searcy, who's taking over as Zerzuli in Once on this Island. Darlisha has been with the cast since the beginning as an understudy and original cast member. She is replacing, of course, Leia Salonga, whose final, final performance was yesterday. And and she's out to do Annie in, at the Hollywood Bowl. She's very, very busy. She's yeah, always I doing know, something. She's very busy. Um, Darlisha has been in Shuffle Along, The Book of Mormon, Color Purple, Ragtime, and The Goodbye Girl. So she's been around. Goodbye, girl. I saw that. <laughs> that I think you saw 90s. all of those. <laughs> that, that, you saw all of those. You don't hear that one often. <laughs> yeah. um, hey, Beth, I just also want to remind everybody that tonight and Thursday are the opportunities to see bandstand in movie theaters. Fathom events. Uh, tonight. Yeah. I know in Manhattan it's tonight at 7 and Thursday at 7. So Are you going to both? Um, I don't know yet. I want to see it. I missed screening last week. So mm -hmm. I want to see it. So I have to figure out if I'm going. I don't know. Am I going? I don't all know. Of them. <laughs> I'm going to get out Beth of here. Beth is going. I'm out of here. She's going. <laughs> there you go. She's going. I'm out. Uh, hey, Caitlin, why don't you tell us a little bit about today's guest? Of course. Guys, today we have Lena Hall here today, and she is halfway through her Obsessed series, which means she's been releasing a new EP every single month, and she's going to be singing those, some of those songs at an upcoming concert this Wednesday. You probably know her because she has a Tony from her role in Hedwig and the Angry Inch, but she also was on Broadway in Kinky Boots, Tarzan, Cat a bunch of other awesome stuff and she's been on the screen in Girls, Good Girls Revolt and Bex. Be sure to follow her on social media at Lena Rocker Hall and leave all of your questions for her on the comments below because I know you guys got a lot. Everyone please welcome Paul and Lena. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you Lena it's Hall. It's good to see you too. I always remember that time we did like the couch series and I was wearing that really dark. The couch thing. series. Remember we, we did like an interview for Broadway.com and we were on these chairs. Show these, people. Like, show, yeah. show people. Yeah. And I had this like really dark lipstick on and I was doing just obscene yeah, cat, doing cat cats. things. We were talking about the sex lives of cats <laughs> because you were in cats. It's still my I, favorite. And I love talking about the sex <laughs> lives of the musical characters cats yeah i like to too, too how are you you guys are doing a movie of cats I know, another one crazy are you how going do into i that? i want to but i don't think i'm even on the spectrum of that oh. which is so funny but you should be after that performance in bex <laughs> that was a good movie you liked it yeah, i did like it Yay. you guys should all see bex yeah. go see bex yeah, yeah it's yeah, on yeah. itunes and amazon it's on amazon no, no, you can yeah, find it you can find you it can it's find everywhere it. look it up b-e-c-k-s bex and um, Haley Kiyoko's in it. Okay, but let's focus. Who's the lesbian Jesus? But sorry. <laughs> so, you, I love having so much Lena Hall content coming at me all the time. You do? There's always new stuff to listen to. Oh, good. What <laughs> is it? Excite this obsessed series. We we talked when you were first starting it, yeah. first kicking it off, and the first one was the the Hedwig EP. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you've been coming out with with great uh, batches of music every month. Is it fun to always be sort of putting out product like that? Yeah, it is. It it's. It keeps people kind of, it's almost like a history class or like a class uh -huh. in music, you know? I feel like I'm everybody's like best friend who's like, hey, oh, you should listen to this artist, you know? Right. Or you should listen yeah. to that artist. Like, that's how I feel. I feel really connected with everybody. Yeah, because you really are, you're sort of, um, you're, you're shining a spotlight on music that people might not know. Like, your theater fans might not know all the Cranberries. No songs way. Or... No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no way that they, and there's some really oddballs coming up. Not oddballs, I mean, not in music business, but for the theater people, they would never be like, I'm going to go listen to Jack White like you know right. no right you know, or Beck you like it's right. rare yeah, that yeah, you yeah. so, so you'll, what, so what, you'll get some which cool have come out so far stuff so coming out let's go what's coming what are all the artists Hedwig yep Peter Gabriel yep Elton John oh, so good it's a great one I love the cover the on Cranberries uh-huh Pink. Yep. Oh, love that. And this one is Radiohead, just yep. in time for summer to depress you. <laughs> 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 and is it a secret what the next one is? I mean, yeah. It's a secret. It's a secret, it's a but secret. it's going to be out. I mean, we're going to announce it really soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you'll see. I mean, I love it. It's great. I'm really excited for the last half of this year because it's going to push everybody out of their boundaries. Mm -hmm. Loving that. <laughs> but like, I love I, the threat of that. Yeah, and I love, and I love like when I listen to them. I have no one favorite. They all came together really well. I'm, I'm really shocked, honestly. I mean, we did it in eight days. You know, like there's, there's no like intense like yep. production on them. It's uh -huh. very, they're very raw recordings. But like, and I usually can't listen to myself. Yeah sing because i don't know a lot of people have a hard time watching themselves act and listening to those sing. you know there's like a thing <laughs> but um i'm really proud of these so I'm, so I'm, you're I'm basically listening to them all the time if i ever see you on the street every that's what you're listening day to. <laughs> yeah non-stop just listening to ourselves no <laughs> <laughs> i'm listening to them a lot uh Good. and you're doing a concert 
Yes, on, on, on Wednesday. Wednesday at what eight o'clock. Doors open at seven, I believe. Yeah. Uh, at, and it looks like the, I haven't at been the to this public, space. Yeah, the, it's, it's like it, a new hotel. Yeah, the new hotel. It's called the Public Hotel, which right. is a Anita which Schrager is on like, hotel. That's fancy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's like super it's, hip. Oh, I know if you're attached to something, it has hip. to be super hip. Oh, thanks. That's your thing. Like, oh, you're like is super it? trendy. Yeah, totally. God, yeah, I don't you, even know you, you have that going. Yeah. God, I'm such a dork. Yeah, Selena uh, didn't, but Lena does. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Selena was such a dork. Did you see Legally Blonde, the search for Elwood? And I love that that's all resurfaced. So you, yeah. the, the episode's all resurfaced, too. But anyway, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm... So it's uh, called I'm, The Public Arts. It's yeah, in the, the public space. hotel. Uh-huh. And so the space is, And what's it like? It's a super cool venue. I, uh, I was there, actually, the last time I was there, I sang Creep. Uh-huh. with um, Justin Craig on guitar and then I also sang a midnight radio with John Cameron Mitchell awesome for Sting and Trudy Styler what? it was Trudy Styler's told you it was her birthday <laughs> what it was her birthday and she had also just released her movie Freak uh-huh. Is it was it called Freak or Freaks or Freak? Yeah, I know what you're talking it about. Was yeah, that one. Yeah. Freak or Freaks. Whatever. I loved the movie. Yeah. Like Isn't that I loved, in that? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't it. was see such it, a great yeah. I I related uh, with the movie a lot. And yeah. so I really loved the movie. And then they asked us to perform afterwards. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And it was such a cool experience to have Sting and Trudy Styler just sitting there staring at me. Like they were sitting on the stage and then they were looking up. And it was just like, cool moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. That was the last time I was there. So you're doing a concert Wednesday. And is it going to be, we're going to hear a lot of this obsessed material? Yeah, we're going to go we and do how the we, whole six months. We're doing the whole six months. You're doing the whole thing. The whole thing. Wow. I'm singing every single song. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, was I mean, that'd be a lot. You know, it'd yeah. be like a three-hour concert. No, I'm doing like my favorites from each. Cool. From each um, EP. Yeah. So I'm doing some Hedwig stuff. I know people awesome. love the Hedwig. People one. love that. People yeah. love the Hedwig one. Yeah. And then I'm, you know, a couple from each uh, each album. It's so cool. To kind of just celebrate the halfway point. Yeah. It's like, and yeah, it's the cool because it's. All coming together, kind of. I didn't know how it was going to come together, but like, even the artwork for 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 the album, we keep the same shot. Yeah, and I think then we, we need do to make something. Wallpaper. I want yeah, wallpaper <laughs> yeah, we do something heads. different. And yeah. I was like, let's make it look like a Warhol. Yeah. Like, it, cause you know, like no, that would be so, so cool. cool. Yeah. Not that like I want my face on every one of them, but it was kind of the easiest way to do like make it a thread and mm-hmm. make it a series. I really want to do it again, so we'll see how the end of the year. What do you mean you want to just do another year? Another event? season two, yeah. Of of this, of um, pop and rock artists with yeah. your spin? Yeah, but I'd like to like expand it more, maybe have guests um, come in and do some hip hop mm. and like oh. rap because <laughs> no one wants to hear me <laughs> rap, but you they never, would like to hear that. somebody else rap. So maybe because I'm, I'm doing a TV show with W. Diggs, so I'm like totally going to approach him with this idea. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so I'd be like, yo, David. <laughs> right, you're doing the Snowpiercer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Snow- Snowpiercer is a really cool movie that you guys should see. Uh, Kyle's it. nodding behind the console because he likes it. Because he might be a sci-fi nerd, maybe. Future <laughs> dystopian. Anyway, it's a really cool movie. It's about a train yeah. that doesn't stop. And they're making it's a TV show. It's post-apocalyptic. Sh- yeah, post-apocalyptic. The cra- it's very cold. Freezing. Um, a lot of furs, maybe. Drama. I, you know, I have... I have no idea. I'm well, so what's excited. going on with that? So they're making a TV show. We're of making it. a TV show. Yeah, we were picked up in December, and so I've been waiting to film until now. So oh, fr- okay. finally, we're going to start filming, and uh, I'm really excited. There have been some changes made, and cool. I'm playing a different character. <laughs> I mean, you know, the things that they've told me that they want me to do now. I'm like, oh, you know, it's it's very interesting. So um, I'm kind of I'm so excited to see how this all pans out. Uh-huh. I haven't. Like, I, I have no idea what, like, at this point, I'm, like, going into something blind, but there's right. something very exciting and exhilarating about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited. Cool. So you're sort of on hold waiting, waiting for that to and come together. Yeah, fi- it's happening. Cool. So I'm very excited. I'm into it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Caitlin, hey. are there any questions from the fans? I know there are a lot uh, of fans watching. Yes. Are there? Yes. Of oh, course yeah. there are. Of course. It's you. Um, so <laughs> Scott wants to know Scott. if you, uh, who do you look up to in the performing arts realm? Who do I look up to in the performing arts realm? Yes. You know, I mean, there's so many, so just to pick one, but the first person off the top of my head is like Patti LuPone. Patti LuPone. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. because she's, it's Patti LuPone, yeah. right? Yeah. She's got such a distinctive voice. She's a fierce woman. You must love like, how, how like ballsy oof, she is. She God, care. I love it. She doesn't care if people No, think. I love it. Yeah. I would love, you know, and I would love to perform with her one day. Yeah. I actually <laughs> asked her if she wanted to come <laughs> and do a song with me, like a rock song, like a punk rock song with me, but she couldn't. She was busy, but yeah. she really wanted to. That was 
But um, you could that could have been a gypsy. You could have done gypsy with her, but I'm sure there's other things. Yeah, we could just do, there are other things. There I have so things. many ideas, ways for us to work together. Do you have any, any specific ideas for Patty? I do. Yeah, it's a secret. Like a TV show. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just all you know, all about the business and like oh. you know, it's almost like the old school and the new school kind of versions coming together, maybe butting heads. It sounds and like you've scripted it coming out. To, coming together and being like they're both fierce and like both different, and then like coming together and being like awesome together, just kind of a thing like that. I don't know. I'm into it. <laughs> I want to see the story bars. I want to see. I want, I want to know more. <laughs> Cosign. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what else? What else is out there, Caitlin? Yeah. So <laughs> some people want to know: Was it hard to narrow down some the twelve, people. like down to the twelve, y- 12 the artists. albums? Like, oh did, my god! How did you yeah. choose which people you were going to cover? It was extremely hard. It was extremely hard. There were so many other artists on the list. That's One why in you're particular. Do next year. That's why I want to do season two. I could do twenty seasons. You know, uh-huh. it would be so easy to do because it's only like four songs per artist. So it's like. It's a narrow kind of uh, window into that artist's stuff. Some some of these artists are so vast; they have so much stuff. It's so hard to choose. Um, so yeah, it was very hard to choose. I I wanted to do like Sondheim. Well, I was. Oh my god! You're reading, <laughs> wait, 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 stop! You literally just read my mind because I was. My next question for you was: I wanted to ask you what you thought of. First of all, like taking musical theater things and kind of like rocking them yeah, out a little uh-huh. bit. And then in my head, I'm thinking like, I want the Sondheim album, I want the Jason Robert Brown album, I want the Patrick and Paul album. I, yeah, want, yeah. I, want, <laughs> I want that. Yeah. Andrew Lloyd Webber, some cats. Oh my God. Um, Hell would you yeah, be into I do that? Memory would you be into that or is that too no, I'm into No, I'm into that because I thought like this was a good way of kind of setting up the, the idea of the, yeah. of the obsessed kind of brand, I guess. And then it's, it's like it would be awesome to take the same setup. So guitar, yeah. piano, bass, drums, simple, you know, simple versions uh-huh. of these other composers, these other songs. Yes. I also had an idea of like, so I wanted to do, you know, I was like, I could do like a Broadway one. Yep. I could do, you know, oh, like an R&B one. Mm-hmm. I could do I could do specific or I could keep the genre open, you know, and just kind of do random. I was thinking I could do all like the double, like 007 song. Oh my God. Like that, that would be really yes. cool. You know, like um, there's just so many ideas. And then I also had this idea of like, finding these composers like certain composers Mm -hmm. and having them do four original songs or five original songs written for the album to show their you know their like these composers so doing like up and coming specific composers no like doing old school composers like Andrew Weber start writing your song you know like (laughs) hey you know do you have four songs or five songs that you would want me to do or like originals essentially and like have ask Lynn if he wanted to do something and ask like you know, so Broadway composers, but also rock composers, old school rock oh composers like Desmond God, Child, who wrote forever. like "Living on a Prayer" and like Holly Knight, who wrote like you know really cool, wow. uh, you know, old, old, all these wow. like so so you know taking and then newer newer com- newer composers as well who do yeah. things like maybe like Fanagram, like you mm-hmm. know like yeah. doing you know having them write songs, just like kind of. It would be a fun way to expand it to do like originals written by, you know, sort yes. of an obsessed composer series. I'm down um, for all of this, Lena Hall. Yeah. <laughs> and I also want to say that if you do the Sondheim album, I'm already in my head, I'm picturing you you're, you're losing my mind. I'm picturing Oh, my yeah, you are. Anyway, I have, I've already heard it in my head. Dude, I did. So, yeah, so please try to include yeah. that. I did a or show at the Carlisle. Yeah. I did a show at the Carlisle, and I, I did Losing My Mind. Oh, wait, maybe that's why I have it in your, my head. Yeah. So, okay, I've heard you sing. Uh, because uh, I, well, yeah. I told the story of my audition for Cats, and I was like 17 years old, and oh I had pigtails, God. and I sang Losing My Mind. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Of course. Of course you did. Why not? Uh, what else, Caitlin? Yeah, sure thing. What are you most looking forward to about your concert on Wednesday? Oh, just I love performing. I love singing. It's my, like, singing is the closest thing I get to having a full, I don't know, like, catharsis, mm-hmm. like, enlightening moment you Mm -hmm. know it's like i get to kind of black out almost in front of people (laughs) what do you like like five minutes before you go on stage like how do you prepare i get weird so before a show um my body shuts down wow i get really tired Hmm. like i feel like i'm never going to make it wow always my body just like shuts down and it's almost like it's reserving its energy you know and then like i get a little nervous and then the minute i step out on stage it's like 
this rush of energy and then all of a sudden it's just I could go for days but oh. like right bef before a show a couple hours before a show I'm like I feel like I'm walking in molasses like I'm so tired I don't want to do it Wow. Like, I'm definitely, like, one of those people who's like, I don't want to do this. Wow. <laughs> well, you must be a handful to be hanging out with before no, the show. No, I, I can't. Like, and someone was like, hey, can I have dinner with you before your show? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> you don't want that. I'll be, like, thinking about everything else. Like, right. like I won't even be focusing on anything. I'm so, like, hyper-focused on the show. I'm so yeah. nervous if anyone's going to show up, you know. I mean, I've done shows for, like, three yeah. people before. So I still have right. that that ingrained in me of like, is anyone going to come? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but then Nerd. after the show, are you like, then you go out? Like after it's over, you must be like on a high. After shows, I'm on, like, I'm like on a high and like I, I, I take the time to say hi to everyone, take pictures, you know, and like if, if they want pictures, I don't know. And, um, and try and like thank everyone for coming. But at that point, like I really want to like, you know, you put it all out there and, put it all on the line so you get tired and you're yeah. like all right well i just did it i need i need to just like eat oh, you know good. eating yeah, usually is good. always the first thing on my mind after a show and uh, and sleep like i i'm just like i don't know the way it, if i'm doing less i'll have more energy but just when i'm doing my own show i usually i'm just like exhausted and i'm you know spent for the day yeah. it's interesting the stage door thing like broadway stage door stuff yep. Like, I love doing stage door, and I always, always do it. I always try to do it. I always feel guilty when I don't, like, because I'm like, these people really, you know, and I feel, like, happy that they want my time, you know? I mean, that's, like, amazing. It's the whole reason why we do it is to, like, have connection with, yeah. with people who enjoy what you do. And um, so I try to, but, you know, it's, it's uh, sometimes, like, an hour and a half, two hours you're spending out there, and, and you just, like, lay down everything out there on the floor for these people so it's, it gets very hard mm -hmm. to do so if you are stage dooring my my lovely ladies and gentlemen fans of broadway just remember that your actors who you're meeting are tired <laughs> so yeah. don't take anything personally right. you know just right. if they give you your time that's incredible like that's so cool yeah. and um if they don't know that they're probably like banging their head against the wall exhausted or maybe they felt like they had a really bad show and they're mm. feeling like they don't want to see anyone because right. they had a bad show so right. so don't take anything personally it's really that's that's the name yeah. of the game yeah. yeah absolutely yeah uh that's okay. very good wisdom from <laughs> that's great do, you, do your fans have a name N i mean i don't know it was like the, the lena holics or oh. the oh, that's, that's weird oh, that's cute. how about this the the obsessed Ooh. No. Or, I don't know. It sounds like you're running a cult. I know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about, yeah, no. It, I don't know. I have a t-shirt, and I won't say it, but I have a Lena F word hall t-shirt. Effin. Can I, can I say? Or do you bleep? No, you're no. live. We're live. We're just, live. Uh, what, oh, what I are just you, so the phone trying to shake things up? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lena F and Hall. Yeah, I have those yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you could just say, I when I do my shows. I can buy a shirt that says that? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, I want one. Game changer. Yeah. You can oh. actually, when I go and do my shows now, because they've been for sale and, and a lot of people have got them, now I'll see like a sea of those t-shirts and I'm like, this is kind of good. This is like cool how this worked out. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awesome. Like one day I want to be doing not like a stadium tour, but like, you know, well, yeah, one day I want to be yeah, doing yeah. a dream tour. big. I, yeah. I, one day I want to be doing stadium tour. Yeah. I want to see a sea of those shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Just like <laughs> thousands of people walking around with Lena and Hall. Yeah, and shirt. yeah I'm into it. Loud and proud. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Everyone, Anytime. you can go see this super talent right here at Public. It's called Public Arts. Yes. Public Arts. It's on Wednesday night. It's downtown because it's cool and hip. Lower East Side. Lower East Side, people. Um, and keep getting the Obsessed albums. They're everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you can get them on everywhere. I everywhere. You can, you can find them anywhere. Anywhere Stream you download them. music. Spotify. As we like to say. It's awesome. Yeah, and they're fantastic. <laughs> and I look forward to more and more and more. Yeah. I'm into the. Hell I'm into yeah. all the ideas you have. We're doing it. Just keep going. We're and, just going to keep going. Let they're... me know when you have that storyboard done of you and Lapone on, on TV. On I will. <laughs> all, right. all right, cool. Awesome. Uh, hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Sure. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every day on Facebook. A podcast version of today's episode will be up right after this, so you can listen to them talk over and over again because today was awesome. And be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to one of the Donnas, Storm Lever from Summer.